Marie Curie was born in Warsaw in modern-day Poland on 7th November 1867. Her parents were both teachers and she was the youngest of five children. As a child, Curie took after her father, who was a math and physics instructor. She had a bright and curious mind and excelled at school. But tragedy struck early and when she was only 11, Curie lost her mother. A top student in her secondary school, Curie could not attend the men-only University of Warsaw. She instead continued her education in Warsaw's floating university, a set of underground informal classes held in secret. Both Curie and her sister Bronia dreamed of going abroad to earn an official degree, but they lacked the financial resources to pay for more schooling. Curie worked out a deal with her sister. She would work to support Bronia while she was in school and Bronia would return the favor after she completed her study. For roughly five years, Curie worked as a tutor and a governess. She used her spare time to study, reading about physics, chemistry and maths. In 1891, Curie finally made her way to Paris where she enrolled at the Sonborn in Paris. She threw herself into her studies, but his indication had a personal cost. With little money, Curie survived on buttered bread and tea, and her health sometimes suffered because of a poor diet. Curie completed his master's degree in physics in 1893 and earned another degree in mathematics the following year. Around this time, she received a commission to do a study on different types of steel and their magnetic properties. Curie needed a lab to work in and a college introduced her to French physicist Perry Curie. A romance developed between the brilliant pair and they became a scientific dynamic duo. The pair married on 26th July, 1895. Mary and Perry Curie were dedicated scientists and completely devoted to one another. Mary Curie made history in 1903 when she became the first woman to receive the Nobel Prize in Physics. She won the prestigious honor along with her husband for their work on radioactivity. With their Nobel Prize win, the Curies developed an international reputation for their scientific efforts and they used their prize money to continue their research. When World War I broke out in 1914, Curie devoted her time and resources to helping the cause. She championed the use of portable X-ray machines in the field and these medical vehicles earned her nickname, Little Curies. After the war, Curie used her celebrity to advance her research. She traveled to the United States twice in 1921 and in 1929 to raise funds to buy radium and to establish a radium research institute in Warsaw. Working with the mineral pitch blend, Mary Curie discovered a new radioactive element in 1898. She named the element polonium after Mary's native country of Poland. They also detected the presence of another radioactive material in the pitch blend and called that radium. In 1902, the Curies announced that they had produced a decigram of pure radium demonstrating its existence as a unique chemical element. Curie received another great honor in 1911 winning her second Nobel Prize, this time in chemistry. She was selected for her discovery of radium and polonium and became the first scientist to win two Nobel Prizes. While she received the prize alone, she shared the honor jointly with her late husband in her acceptance lecture. All of her years of working with radioactive materials took a toll on Curie's health. 
she was known to carry test tubes of radium around in the pocket of a lab coat. Marie Curie made many breakthroughs in her lifetime. She is the most famous female scientist of all time and had received numerous posthumous honors. Curie also passed down her love of science to the next generation. Her daughter, Irene Joliet Curie, followed in her mother's footsteps, winning the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1935. Joliet Curie shared the honor with her husband, Frederick Joliet, for her work on the synthesis of new radioactive elements. Today, several educational and research institutions and medical centers bear the Curie name, including the Institute Curie and Perry and Marie Curie University, both in Paris. Thank you for watching Edupedia World. Please subscribe to watch more videos.